Hello, I am Dr. Pulkit Mathur and today we will discuss about audit, documentation and record keeping in a food catering business. Let's begin this module with a detailed lesson on audit. It is now extremely important for the food industry to proactively manage records and information. Organizations use this as an important tool to establish and trace how effectively the required functions and procedures are followed. An effective food safety management system largely depends on the control of documents and records. Here are the basic indicators of a properly controlled document or record. It should be legible or readable. It has been authorized and is relevant to the procedures or functions. It is updated as and when required. And lastly, it is kept at a secured location. Let us now talk about the first step in the process, self-evaluation and review. Self-evaluation is an important tool to assess one's performance, strength and weaknesses. Food business operators must do periodic evaluation of safety systems through internal and external audits. This should be done at least once a year. For continual improvement, food business operators should undertake a complete review of the systems including self-evaluation results, customer feedback, complaints, new technologies and regulatory updates at periodic intervals and at least once in a year. FSSAI has established its hygiene rating scheme which allows food businesses to self-assess the food safety implementation and allow customers to make informed choices about the places where they eat out. Let us now talk about the second aspect of the process, documentation and records. Food business operators must follow a systematic method of documentation and record keeping. The appropriate documentation and record keeping procedure should include FSSAI license, incoming material checks, food and water testing report, calibration of food safety equipment, operational controls such as temperature, pressure and time, food recall and traceability, storage, cleaning and sanitation, pest control, medical examination, health status of food handlers and training. All of this should be maintained in a legible manner. The records should be retained for a period of one year or the shelf life of the product, whichever is more. Any changes to the records should be traceable. For example, errors are identified by a strikeout and followed by initials. Each entry on a record should be signed and dated by the person responsible at the time the specific event occurred. Record keeping, requirements and responsibilities should be communicated to the staff. As most of the document and records are being maintained in a e-form, therefore it is important to maintain a proper system-based control so as to ensure prevention of piracy, hacking and alteration of material facts. Lastly, 
it is important to have reliability of all the records as this depends on the correctness of the verification process. Therefore, all verification should be done in detail, done in a time-bound manner and should be based on criteria fixed on that record. In addition, there is a list of guidelines mandated under Part 2 and Part 5 of Schedule 4 of the Food Safety and Standards Licensing and Registration Regulation of 2018 which all food business operators must follow. To summarize, this is the correct manner in which a food business operator should maintain a system of proper record keeping and documentation and conduct audit. With that, we come to the end of today's module. Thank you for watching this video.